What is going on people? Glad to see all of your faces again. Well, I can't actually see them, but anyway, for today's video, we are going to talk about backing up your videos because this is an important topic that gets overlooked, especially for beginner creators. If you are creating videos regularly, you should have some kind of backup system. I once had the experience of losing all of my footage from a shoot and it was the worst day of my life. You don't want that to happen to you. That's why in this video, I will show you my backup solution so that you won't make the same mistake I did. I will show you how easy it is to create uh, camera archives, import footages into libraries and copy libraries, events and projects to an external hard drive using Final Cut Pro X. This backup system has worked really well for me and will surely help you keep your footage safe. So the very first thing I do after a shoot is immediately back up all of my footages. I start off by copying all of my footages from my SD card into my library. I open up Final Cut Pro X and create a new library and save it to my first external hard drive. I have two external hard drives that are connected to my iMac. I use the first one to edit all of my projects off and the second one as a mass storage where I back up all of my original footages. I will name this library Backup Tutorial. Now that I created my library, I will name the event media and import all of the footages from my SD card into that event. Make sure you have copy to library selected uh, before importing. This will ensure that all of the footages from the SD card will be copied into that contained library. Now that I have copied all of my footages from my SD card uh, to my library, the next thing I do is create a camera archive. If you create a camera archive, uh, you're basically backing up the exact copy of the contents that you have on your camera. So to do that, again, choose file, import media, or use the shortcut command I, and I select my SD card from the left side. I click on create archive and type in uh, a name for the archive. I will name it backup tutorial copy and choose a location to save the archive. I have a folder called camera archive, uh, which is located on my second external hard drive. And that's it. I have an exact copy of my SD card that is saved on my second external hard drive. Now to open the camera archive, just right click on it and select show package contents. A great feature that Final Cut Pro X has is the automatic backup. Final Cut Pro X automatically creates backups for your libraries and as a default, it will save it to your Final Cut backups folder, which is located on your internal hard drive. I usually leave it that way because it creates another backup for your library on your IMAX internal hard drive. So in total, I have four backups. I have the original footage on my SD card. I have the copied footage in my library which is stored on my first external hard drive that I edit of. Uh, I created a camera archive, which is saved on my second external hard drive. And I have the automatic backup uh, of my library that is saved on my IMAX internal hard drive. Hope this makes sense. Now, what if you worked on a project for a while and want to back it up manually? Well, the easiest way to do that is to select your project that you want to copy, go to file and then copy project to library and select new library. Choose the location you want to back it up. You want to copy your project on a different drive because if for some reason that hard drive fails, you still have the other external hard drive with the project saved. I usually don't select optimize or proxy media when creating a backup copy because I want to keep the file size as small as possible. Now I have copied uh, the project on a different hard drive. This means that only the footages that were used from that project will be copied. If you want to copy the event with all the clips and projects in it, select the event you want to copy, 
go to file, then copy event to library and select new library. Again, I will save it on a different hard drive. All right, guys, that was it for today's video. This is my storage and backup solution. I hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know what type of system you use to back up your footages. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Uh, you would help me immensely to keep this channel ongoing. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you in the next video.